Um, this evening, I have once again signed an executive order that there will be a curfew at 9 p.m. tonight. We wanted to assess where we were coming out of yesterday evening, uh, which, by the way, there were 157 arrests made on yesterday evening, um, various violations. But we wanted to assess where we were before making a determination as to whether or not we would have a curfew again for today. Uh, that curfew, again, is for 9 p.m. today. We will assess again on tomorrow. Uh, sometime during the night, I saw a very disturbing video of two young college students who were in downtown Atlanta yesterday evening. And it was disturbing on many levels, uh, the least of not which was that there clearly was an excessive use of force. We understand that our officers are working very long hours under an enormous amount of stress. But we also understand um, that the use of excessive force is never acceptable. So the reason that we postponed the press conference earlier today um, was to give Chief Shields and I an opportunity to review, review the body cam video. Uh, there were five officers involved in this incident, so it took quite a while. Um, many of you all know in my former life, or I'm, I'm still a lawyer, I still have my law license, um, and I was a judge, so I had to ask a lot of questions and um, review the footage again and again and again, um, and we had extensive discussions based on what we saw on that footage. Um, after review of that footage, um, Chief Shields and I have made the determination that two of the officers involved in the incident last night will be terminated immediately. The other three officers are right now on dex duty uh, pending further determination of what, if any, appropriate action, disciplinary action, should be taken against them. The release of that body cam footage and the corresponding police report should be available to the media immediately. And with that, I will turn it over to Chief Shields um, for comment and also uh, to Chief Bryant for comment, and then we'll open up for questions. Thank you, Mayor. So, um, good evening. I um, echo the mayor's comments in, on both fronts. The first is I, I could not be prouder of the work of the Atlanta Police Department along with our other law enforcement agencies. We have been handed an, an enormous obstacle and have, by and large, done it as well as we could in the space that we are being afforded. Um, these folks are going out every day. They're getting pelted with rocks, knives thrown at them, ongoing gunshots. It's, it's really, it's an unpleasant space to be in. But that does not relieve us of our responsibilities. And we have a responsibility when we handle any incident not to escalate the incident and not to further cause harm or injury. Last night was um, a broad array of emotions for me. I have an officer who was directing traffic and was slammed into by somebody who was driving an ATV recklessly down Peachtree Street. The officer's in ICU and we hope that he can walk again. And we went from there to three in the morning and it's being put before me that we are this video that was really shocking to watch in how we were manhandling a couple of young people in their car. And to be fair, I, I, I knew it was bad, but I really wanted to believe that the body-worn camera footage would provide some larger view that could better rationalize why we got to this space. And having spent most of the afternoon with the mayor reviewing the footage exhaustively, I knew that I had only one option, and that is to terminate the employees. 
When the Minnesota incident unfolded, I was appalled by the incident, but I was also appalled by the DA and their inability to see what all of us saw on the video and their need to have to process it and investigate it further. And what I realized this afternoon is I was wanting to be afforded that same level of time. And I think as law enforcement, if we are ever going to get out of this space that we are in today, we have to recognize that our behaviors cannot consistently be pardoned because we are law enforcement. These, these are good guys. I know them as individuals. I've worked with the one for over 20 years. But they made that level of mistake that cannot be rolled back. And if I stand before you and the community day in and day out, reassuring you that this department is different, that we do things differently, that our expectations are different, then I, above all others, have to rise and meet that standard. So I, um, I apologize. I apologize to both of the individuals. I believe one's a Spelman student, one's a Morehouse student. Um, how we behaved as an agency, as individuals, was unacceptable. And I know that we caused further fear in, to you in a space that's already so fearful for so many African Americans. And I am genuinely sorry. Uh, this is not who we are. This is not where we're about. Um, and sometimes the, the best thing, the only thing you can do as a police chief is come in and, and clean up the mess that's before you. Um, but I am truly sorry to those individuals. And um, we're still working to get it right. Thank you.